Right, custom rally in Australia. 12 stages, severe damage. We'll go master. Comra dash R in the fog. Lucernia regular at night. Nulla in the afternoon. Comra regular afternoon. Lucernia R uh, sunset gum scrub in the morning. Nulla R uh, at night gum R uh, in the rain. Tukora or Turuka Sunset Womb Morning to uh, in the afternoon and Wombora Wombamara at night, so one bamara to gum ah uh, nola gum lucernia comra nola lucernia comra night afternoon morning sunset rain. Night, morning, sunset, afternoon, afternoon, night, fog, and we're at the top. Okay. Next. Group B, hyena, I think. I well, haven't got the most kilometres in. Did most of it in the Das Hammer then. Yeah, I did a bunch of stuff in that as well. A bunch of the Group B stuff. That's a cool car. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go. Hyena. Not skins. No, we're not going that one. Yeah, let's just go. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. No repairs. So yeah, this is a lot faster than what I was just doing in a Group B cars. Some of the fastest rally cars on tracks that I've basically never played. Now, I've been through all of these once. Maybe a couple of them twice. I've spent less time with this car specifically than I have with the bloody logging truck now.
But I keep saying I need to learn the hyena best in because it's best in class. I just never really cared about Group B for a while. Yeah, I've got to be very careful as well because we uh, we can't repair for the entirety of this event. Twelve stages, no repairs. So we're probably going to be on fire and trucking along by the end of it. But uh, yeah, no hoofing cows. Starting off in the fog is ballsy for this. God, this is quick. I'm glad someone organised this. Thank you to, uh, I can't remember who did organise it, but thank you to you. Because I assume that you're watching this to check that I did it right. Thank you to you, sorry for my slow driving. Because yeah, it's very much enjoying. Like we got 12 stages and it was immediately like, oh my god, our oh, endurance is going to be nuts. And yeah, it gives me a reason to play Australia. Because I never really know what the hell to play at all. And I'm not going to run Australia in speedruns because it's not very fast. Not going to play um, not going to get it in dailies because it's DLC so dailies and weeklies aren't going to show Australia anymore So it is purely down to these events, and I think it'll only be one-off events for minutes. Fake Australia? Oh yeah, Australia is fake. We know that. I mean, this is this is where nature comes from. And Mac Mac, like... There's a giant sheep somewhere around this track, and I don't actually know what where it is. I don't think it's on any of these actual tracks. I think it's only in free roam. Because otherwise you'd shit yourself. You come around a corner and there's a bloody... Who put those bales on the outside there, by the way? A couple of people have mentioned them. Who the hell put those bales on the outside? God, I saw Frankie absolutely nail it through there. The kangaroos are real. They are abs as, as solid as they are in real life. Yeah, they, they ain't going to move. Neither are the coos. Why do we do this in Group B? These cars have too much power and not enough brakes already. And they're the most fragile cars in the game. And then... Uh, our idea of fun as players of this game... Is to not do any repairs on our cars for as many stages as the game will let us. Which used to be 10 and is now 12 stages. I'll show you the repairs now. So you can see those spanners. Get to repair. So I could, you know, I've got a clean car and gearbox. I'm not going to do anything. All the damage is random as well. So it's just generic wear and tear for stuff like that unless you hit something if you hit something then you're likely to get suspension damage yeah I'm just gonna get generic wear and tear for the most part here 
Hopefully. Hopefully I don't hit anything. But the car's just going to get slower and slower, which means you just get less and less likely to hit anything. Like, I now can't get the car up to top speed. Because the gearbox is a bit worn. So the car ain't going to get... Uh, Jesus, that's a long straight. And you could probably flat that in fourth. Just engine braking. This is my first time through all these stages in a fast car. The only car I've driven through these stages in is Group 2, which is the slowest car in the game, other than the meme cars. Slowest regular car in the game. Although I did drive around in Group A, because my favourite car got added in this update. My favourite rally car, the Ford Fiesta, got added in this game. Colin McRae's era Ford Fiesta got added so that's my group A car now even if it's not compared I'm, I'm so glad it's a group A car <laughs> that I like my favorite rally car in the world because all the group A cars are pretty competitive there's no head and shoulders above the rest whereas this car is pretty meta you can beat it and set good times but this is generally considered the best group B car the hyena Group S is a complete washout, which is a shame because it means nobody plays it. I don't know what this car actually is, to be fair. I'm pretty bad at knowing the cars. Like, I've been watching real rally things, like historic. Oh, his historic rally clips. I'm like, ooh, that's the <laughs> this. I don't know the real name for it. That's the pebble from Art of Rally, and I don't know the name for the actual car. It's great. I just recognised the shell of it. No idea who made it. Although I didn't, I I didn't recognise on the other way of that. I recognise a Ford Escort from Escort. How the fuck? Ford Escort from uh, Group 2, and yet the Esky, which is just a nickname for the Escort, that's the name in the game, and I didn't notice. Even after playing like a thousand kilometres with it. Yeah. I don't really care about car names. It's a good job hay bales don't actually give you any damage, no matter how hard you collide with them, I don't. I think, okay, maybe, maybe the 2,000, uh, 2,000, 200 kilometers an hour terminal damage might still apply. But. Yeah, I can name mice better than I can name, not mice like compute, computer mice. I can name computer mice, not mice like squeak, squeak. I can name different types of mice probably better than I can name different types of car, cause, and especially now, all cars look the bloody same. If you repainted the modern WRC cars, the ones that are running this year, if you repainted that Toyota into the Ford, I won't be able to tell the difference. They look the bloody same. And the cars that they came from are SUVs that look the bloody same. Why are all the rally cars so boring right now because they're based on SUVs and SUVs are boring why was the Mini so good when it first came out why was the Sync the um, Peugeot 205 why was that so good the Ford Fiesta why was that so good small cars the Mini's knocked the socks off of everybody for a while they were small Lancia Delta Integrale. I don't even want to know what damage I managed to do to my car. Yeah. Bikes are kind of heading the same direction for the most part.
It's something that's actually been a thing in BMX for a while. Yeah, I'm not actually smoking yet, which is rare. My The last art of endurance that I did um, was I literally blew my car up and set it on fire on the second stage. I didn't have time to do two runs. I had only like I I came in late to the event and didn't have time and only had time to do one run and blew my car up on the second stage of ten and was on fire for the rest of it. Like full fire, not just smoke coming out the top. You'd have thought they'd put it out between stages. No. I'm really enjoying the going fast <laughs> in the group B. Yeah, just a little bit on fire. You'll be fine. Just ignore the bit that's on fire. Also, drive faster, because then the fire won't be in your face, you know? And just hope it clears the fuel tanks. Also, congratulations on the hundred and hundred and first adjusts. You can hear the car complaining. Like, you could just hear the car complaining as I ragged it round fifth on the stage and that wasn't even bad. And that's versus the AI. It is master AI, so it is kind of like top 5-10% of the leaderboard. Because, yeah, the thing is based on leaderboards. We're now at a point where I would start in second gear. But starting in first on that last one seemed better. And it's only going to get worse. Because we got the, the randomness gathers gearbox failure first. It's a great way to get the um, achievement you're breaking the car. Which is finish a stage with entirely... Uh, what's it? Yeah, it is random. It's not the fact that I'm clutch kicking constantly and shagging my gearbox. It literally is just random. Unless you crash into something. If you crash into something, you're going to get suspension damage. That it's not that sophisticated of physics. That uh, that me pinning the first on launch gives me gearbox damage. Because it is just generic gearbox damage. And it just makes you slower to accelerate in some kind of way and slower to do this i've never really felt the difference engine usually limits top speed before acceleration stuff like that but it's not really massive amount of difference and the suspension just makes the car steer worse but it is quite funny when you start pinning things in fifth gear in this competition get back into a fresh car because I have done like two of these runs in a row. I've got out of a completely tattered and on fire car. Gone back into the start and gone, oh fuck me, first gear is faster than fifth. Because <laughs> you know, after you rag a few hundred K on uh, on a car, it does, does feel a little different. 
Or you go, oh, that stage was really fun to drive through, and you go do it in time trial on a fresh car. And you thought you could go through a corner in fifth gear. But, like, fifth gear is fourth gear, what I started with. Top of fifth gear, which I'm never going to get to. That was fourth gear, 140... 140 odd kilometers an hour. That was easy fourth gear at the start of this shit. Like the fact my leaderboard results are going down, that's purely because of the wear. Like most other people are going to have done these with decent cars. They're going to have been able to make repairs in between, you know, and they probably will have. An extra two stages means we get one extra repair to skip, though. God, he's... This is going to end up being as slow as driving the logging truck by the time we're actually done with this. I can feel the steering's gone now. The steering's a lot less direct than it was. I'm having to kind of force the car around some of these turns that I otherwise wouldn't have to. it just kind of make its own way. Maybe even the car's gone into just real wheel drive, but I don't think that ha I don't think that happens. God, there's some good long straights on this uh On this country. Well, I say good long straights. It's probably uh, in a proper proper speed that's probably not really that long and probably ain't flat out. That was flat out for so much longer than it should have been. I was getting scared there. I was like, oh, should I be flat out? The answer is yes. Like, you know, I've seen people drive these cars in time attack mode and just go flat out. And it's like, I, that's why I'm bad, because I can't do that. Can keep me footed in Zenotic, but I can't do it in this. Oh, yeah, I should put that on charge. Where is the charger for it? Pedal to the metal. Indeed. Which stage are we on? Eight out of... Oh shit. No. My stick's broken. The reason the stick up the top's dancing around is because for some reason my controller thinks that me pressing the R2 button, so the right trigger, uh, for some reason thinks that that is me also pressing up on the D, uh, not the D-pad, the um, analog stick, which is really annoying. And I don't quite know how to fix it, and I assume it's from a side effect of when I used to play with a Switch controller and had to rebind some stuff because the inputs aren't in the same order. And I assume it's just broken because of that. But I don't know how to undo that.
Oh, is that a wisp of smoke coming off of me car? Or is it just the way that the shadows were going around that corner? I think it might have just been the shadows, I can't see any more. There's no way I end this without a smoking car. Yeah, like, topping out 150k an hour. It's not even 100 miles an hour. That's group 3 spec, that is. So this is group B, so it goes 2, 3, 4, B, S, A. Uh, in the group order. Yeah. This is like a four-wheel drive group 3 car that can't accelerate. Basically means it's still faster than a four wheel than a bloody group three car. Yeah, you can see it like wiggles up and I can go through the I'm not pressing the up. Hey, I won that stage. No way. Oh, because it's rain. Yeah, I'm actually decent in the rain. Yeah, it's really annoying. I need to figure out how to fix it, because it it it's all right in this, where I'm driving and up and down don't matter. Oh no, the car is puffing. Car's puffing. Um, yeah, it, it kind of sucks when you're playing a 3D game, like a mountain bike game, where front flips are an option. And you just do a reg go off of a regular jump and do a front flip because you're still holding accelerate. Yeah, that engine is a chimney. Not long left to go now. In fact, I'm pretty sure... Oh no, this is stage 9. So, this is stage 9. We've got this stage and one more before a standard endurance event would have been ended. That would have been 10 stages. And that's when we used to finish the uh, suffering for the cars. But now we've got the ability to go two more stages. And we literally can't do any more. Because there's only 12 stages. But you could do 24 and then you'd be able to double up. But I don't think they'll ever let us. It took so long to get 12 stages. <laughs> People smoke for years with almost no problems. Yeah. I don't think it was quite the uh, petrol smoke that this car's kicking out. Although it's the correct era, Group B. Eight, late 80s. Mid to late 80s, I think. I think Group B was 83 to 88, something like that. This is one dying, sick and dying car. Yeah, that's true. That is true. They used to show us those at school. Like, this is what they put in cigarettes. Tar. <laughs> like, okay, cool, but you could have just stopped when you told me it gonna make your breath smell really fucking bad you're not gonna be able to smell anything it's gonna make your food taste weird i'd have been happy with that <laughs> yeah if it burned faster you'd smoke more that's true get two in a break rather than one I forgot this had tarmac, actually. I think this is literally the only tarmac stage in the rally, though. 
There's an L here in Free Rome, just on the back side of that, I remember. And this should be on the way to the giant sheep, but I don't think we're going to quite get there. Yeah, straight down there, I think, a bit more. Yeah. I mean, it still is, kind of. It's still a thing in popular culture that smoking is a cool thing to do. And it sucks. Like, th there's a song I really like. Uh, is it? It's either I want to be your girlfriend or we. F yeah, it's fe we fell in love in October. Lesbian song. It's great. Um, and it starts with smoking cigarettes on the roof. You look so pretty, and I love this view. And it's like, did, did you have to do the smoking cigarettes on the roof? Like seriously, you're the same age as me. It, yeah, it still kind of is here. It's not in, like, movies and regular TV. But there's rules around only the bad guys allowed to smoke. And I think there might be something to do with the fact that we kind of glorify the bad guy a lot over here. But also, we still look back at, like, picking up a, people picking up a cigarette and just lighting a cigarette and going, you know, that's the thing you do after doing something cool. Don't smoke. It's not good for you. You can't skateboard as hard if you smoke. To me, one of the most painful things is having a crush on someone who smokes, and you're like, oh, your mouth's going to taste terrible. <laughs> Ugh. Never mind then. God, this car is just hurting now. I should be able to see if I can repair it. Let's have a look. Should be able to repair it after this one. Yeah. Okay, so the engine, the suspension's not gone at all. Ah, so engine damage reduces acceleration and top speed and increases the chance of stalling. Haven't even knackered it yet. Haven't knackered the radiator, acceleration and top speed. Have knackered the gearbox, which means that it's slow to shift. Suspension damage, we're stable, uh, and the car is dirty as fuck <laughs> oh yeah now I notice now I'm look at, listening for it it is skipping a beat as I go to uh, change gear I don't think I'm going to actually fully total this car that's incredible I don't think I'm going to total this car by the time that we come into the finish of this. That, yeah, that, that's kind of shitty. I don't want that. Might be early to celebrate, this is true. It's like getting to split four out of five and going, ah, we're well, pretty much got a PB. Bonk. I won't know if I've totaled the car as well, that's the only thing. You don't actually know. The only way to know is by deleting the achievement that you get for finishing with a fully totaled car. And if you did delete that achievement, you'd know. But that's the only way to know. Because you don't. The only way I could tell is because we've got two stages left, so I won't even be able to tell for the final stage where we are. But as long as I don't 
actually deal any damage myself. Fortunately, hay bales don't cause actual damage. Um, God, I've got lucky only crashing into hay bales so far. Also, that was just silly. Oh, no. Has it caused damage? Nope. Car's just crap. Um, I thought it had pulled the steering to one side. Which is what happens when you total your suspension in a crash. Did that just go down in speed when I shifted into 5th? I think it did. No, not the treat. Yeah, it's taken ages to shift. That was my fault for it going down in speed because I went onto the grass. Might as well leave it in fourth, I think, because I don't think I'm going to get back up to the fifth gear speed. Just play it like it is group three. I never use fifth gear because you never actually... Once you get to your fastest speed of gear four, getting it into... Actually managing to power the engine through to get your fastest speed in fifth gear basically never happens. Still winning the rally. Still winning the rally. Let's go to the final stage at night. This battered little car. And there we go. 30-23-616. I could probably sub-30 that if I pushed. Damn. First by seven seconds, and then after that, it's a minute. The AI hasn't quite got itself set up for uh, for Australia yet. 
can just put a high speed. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. There's plenty of people's houses getting crashed into. I mean, there's a video I watched the other day with a guy who's getting his shed ploughed through. This guy just went straight on at a corner, straight into a guy's shed. It was like, fucking park it up there, that I guess. Oh yeah, should end recording. See ya.